never enough flowers. So pretty. Blue delphiniums are absolutely stunning in the flower garden. They're among the more high maintenance flowers that you can grow, but they're also surprisingly easy and they're a perennial. They come back every year, so you only have to plant them once, which I really love. There are tons of different kinds of blue delphinium. Let's look at some of the best varieties that you can grow in your garden. Here are three of my favorite types of blue delphinium. These ones were all planted last year and they grew incredibly tall this year. I did not buy long enough stakes. The ones here on the left, these are the cobalt dreams. Then we have blue lace in the middle and million dollar sky. My all time favorite blue delphinium is called cobalt dreams. This is from the new millennium series out of New Zealand. New millennium is a line of delphiniums that have been bred to be really easy to grow. They're great in different climates. We've just had a crazy heat wave here and they were totally fine. I really like everything I've grown from the new millennium series. And my favorite in terms of blue is this cobalt dreams. It's such a rich, true blue and the flowers last for a long time. Sometimes they even flower a second time later on in the summer. I first read about the cobalt dreams variety in Martha Stewart's flower book. So I highly, recommend that. I would never have found it if I hadn't have read about it in that book uh, and it was totally worth a search. I did have to search it out a little bit but when I found it, oh, it was like a dream come true. I'm in zone five and they start blooming here kind of end of June. Right now it's the first week of July and they are starting to go to seed a little bit at the bottom but the ones at the top are just starting to flower. This is another one of my favorite blue delphiniums. It's called Blue Lace and it's also from the new millennium series of delphiniums. Blue lace delphiniums are a little bit lighter in terms of the blue and they have just a touch of purple. It's this light lavender purple, but the majority of the flower is blue. Blue lace is an incredible cut flower. Indoors in a little bit lower light situation, the blue is almost iridescent. There's a little touch of purple, but they really are all about the blue. In this case, the light blue. So definitely a lot lighter in blue tone than cobalt dreams, but just as lovely. This blue delphinium is called Million Dollar Sky. It's from the Million Dollar series, so that's a different series than the new millennium. There are some gorgeous delphiniums in the Million Dollar series. And Million Dollar Sky is just like it sounds. It is a light sky blue with a white cloud-like bee in the center. There are a couple other blue ones though in the New Millennium series that are nice. The other blue delphiniums in the New Millennium family are Midnight Blues, Royal Aspirations, and Sunny Skies. I highly recommend the new millennium series of delphiniums because I have found them much easier to grow. I don't put a lot of time into my flowers. I know I'm supposed to be staking these like every foot as they grow and to be honest, I, I never quite get there. So if you like blue delphiniums or you want to get them to grow but you're also not quite sure if you can keep them alive, I recommend the new millennium. They've definitely been the easiest for me. And the other series I really like is the Million Dollars. I have the Million Dollar Sky and there's a richer Million Dollar Blue too. So you can find those. They can be a little bit easier to find. I got this Million Dollar Sky plant at Home Depot. I was really happy to find it. So they can be a little bit easier to find than the new millenniums in some areas. I'll put some links below this video to websites where you can find these blue delphiniums to buy because they can be a little bit tricky to find in person. The more common ones that you find in the nurseries are the Pacific Giant. So Pacific Giant does offer a couple of blues. I have grown this bluebird before, so the bluebird is really common and they are a nice blue. I just found them a little bit harder to grow than the new millennium, but there also is blue J too. So there's two different blues in the Pacific Giant series that are really nice. I'm lucky to have a spot in the garden where these really tall blue delphiniums will grow. Fortunately, there are some dwarf types though if you're looking for a shorter flower. The Magic Fountain series of delphiniums are a dwarf version of the Pacific Giants. So that's gonna be a really nice option. They have really easy names. There's a dark blue flower with a white bee, a white center. There's dark blue with a dark center. And of course, a lovely sky blue. So Magic Fountains is a nice option for shorter flowers. The Belladonna series too can be a little bit shorter than some of the English hybrids. They're really free form and they come in some lovely blues. I have a list on my website of some of my favorite kinds, including all of these. So head on over to my website if you want a big list of a bunch of different kinds of lovely blue delphiniums to grow. I really encourage you to plant your own blue delphiniums. They're incredibly rewarding flower. They look beautiful in the garden. You can cut them and bring them into the house as a cut flower. They are just stunning on their own. So have a look at a few different types of blue delphinium. I'll put links to the ones I've mentioned in this video in the description below. Check them out and see which blue delphiniums will work best in your space. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the garden.